Knowing what better temperature shock symptoms are and how to treat them is extremely important. It won't take long for a better to succumb to temperature shock, so if you think it's happening, you're going to have to act quickly. Luckily, after reading this article, you're going to know everything you need to know about temperature shock and betters. What is temperature shock? Before you find out what the symptoms are and how to treat it, it's important to know what temperature shock is. In most cases, it's when the temperature in your tank becomes too low. However, it's also possible for a better to get temperature shock from temperatures that become too high. So what are the symptoms of temperature shock? The symptoms of temperature shock are going to vary depending on whether the water has become too hot or too cold. Here are some of the most common symptoms of cold temperature shock. Lethargy. The most common sign of temperature shock is lethargy. Fish are cold blooded, so unlike mammals who generate their own heat, they can only absorb warmth from the water. When the water is too cold to do this, they'll often stop moving. The cold will make swimming and moving in general difficult for them, so they'll avoid it as much as they can. Resting at the bottom of the tank. Another common sign is that your better will rest at the bottom of the tank. This may be because it's too hard for them to swim to the surface or simply because they don't have enough energy. Slipping into a coma. At extremely low temperatures, your better may even slip into a coma. At this point, you'd have to act extremely fast to save them. This happens because your better's body's functions become so slow, he's no longer getting enough oxygen to his brain. It's important that you don't mistake being in a coma for being dead. If you think the fish has succumbed to rapid cold temperature shock, then you should try to warm the water up as quick as possible. If, after a few minutes, he starts moving again, you've just saved his life. Becoming sick more often. A healthy beta should rarely become sick, so if you notice there's a direct correlation to your beta's immune system and the temperature of the tank, it may be time to warm it up a little. Symptoms of hot temperature shock. As well as cold temperature shock, your beta can also suffer from hot temperature Fortunately, hot temperature shock isn't as severe. However, that doesn't mean you should do nothing. If you notice the temperature is too hot, you should do what you can to lower it back to a good level. Here are some of the common symptoms of hot temperature shock. Breathing rapidly. One of the first things you may notice is your better breathing rapidly at the surface of the tank. While it's normal for your better to breathe from the surface, it should appear natural. When water becomes warm, it can't hold as much oxygen as cold water. So if you notice this, the temperature in your tank is too hot. Staying at the surface. As well as breathing rapidly, your better will also try to stick to the surface. A small pocket of high oxygenated water normally falls just below the water like the fish tanks. If your better is struggling to breathe, then you'll notice him trying to stay near the surface amongst the oxygen. Erratic swimming. You will notice your better swimming erratically and quickly. When the water in your tank heats up too much, your better will have too much energy. This sounds like a good thing, but in reality it's not. This level of energy is only going to stress your better out. There are a number of reasons stress is bad for betters, but the biggest one is that it's going to weaken his immune system. What are the most common causes of rapid temperature change? If you know the most common causes of rapid temperature change, then you can more easily prevent it. Here are some of the most common times your better may suffer from temperature shock. A change in room temperature. In the summer or winter, you may notice the temperature in your room changing dramatically. If the sun shines directly into your room, or if your house becomes particularly cold in the winter, your tank's temperature can swing as well. This is more likely to happen in tanks that are smaller. The bigger a tank is, the less susceptible it's going to be to temperature change. When you add your better to his tank. Another time that temperature shock is extremely common in betters of all fish is when you're adding them to their tank. That's why it's so important that you give your better time to adjust, instead of pouring him into his new tank straight away during water changes. And lastly, it's also common for temperatures to change dramatically during water changes. If you add cold water into your tank straight away, it's going to reduce the temperature of the tank rapidly. As you're going to find out, there are actions you can take to avoid all of these things happening. So what can you do to avoid temperature shock? To avoid cold temperature shock, here are the main things you can do. Turn the heating up in your tank. Move your tank away from windows and into warmer areas of the house. Add hot water to a bag and float it in your tank. Close the lid on your tank to keep the heat in. Wrap your tank in towels or anything that will keep warmth in, or an electric blanket. Move heat emitting items such as lamps closer to your tank. If you're performing a water change, then allow the water to warm up a little bit before you add it to the tank. And in extreme cases, you can even set up tea lights around your tank. How do you cool down a fish tank? While hot temperature shock isn't going to be as severe as its counterpart, 
is still best to be avoided. And while it's more difficult to reduce the temperature, it's not impossible. Here's how to cool down a fish tank. Let a fan blow across the surface. One of the best things you can do is let a fan blow across the surface of the tank. Using a fan is going to do two things. First of all, you're going to blow cold air into the tank which will cool it down. And secondly, the air is going to evaporate the water in the tank which will also help cool it down. Turn off your heater. If you're going to be in the vicinity the whole time, then why not turn your heater off for a little bit? This is also going to be the ideal time for you to check everything is in order. A temperature rise in your tank could be due to a faulty heater which means you may need to purchase another one. Just make sure you don't leave the heater off for too long or it might struggle to warm the water up once it's back on. Perform a water change. As you're well aware, a water change can often change the temperature in your tank, causing it to drop to dangerous levels. However, this doesn't have to be a bad thing. If your water is getting too hot, then try performing a partial water change of 5 to 10%. You don't want to drop the temperature too rapidly, but just enough to cool the temperature to safer levels. Add an aquarium chiller heater. Depending on your budget and the size of your tank, you might also consider investing in an aquarium chiller heater. Aquarium chiller heaters siphon water out of the tank where it can be heated or cooled to the perfect temperature before being added. Turn off the lights. The majority of energy in lights isn't spent on keeping the lights on. In fact, most of it goes wasted in excess heat. If the temperature of your tank is too high, then leave your tank lights on. Add frozen ice. If you have a bottle or container that can fit in your tank, it may be worth adding frozen ice. Just freeze some water in a bottle and make sure you clean the outside thoroughly so there are no chemicals on it. Once the water is frozen, place it in your tank until the temperature drops to the level you want and then remove it again. Repeat this as necessary. Make sure you're aerating the water. And lastly, while it won't necessarily cool down the water a lot, you should make sure you're aerating it. Warm water doesn't contain as much oxygen as cold water, so if your tank is getting too hot, you need to make sure you're supplying it with enough oxygen. Now that you know how to cool down a fish tank, you also need to know what temperatures are dangerous for metals. Betters have a very strict need when it comes to the ideal temperature. Their ideal temperature is between 78 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. However, they can survive in temperatures as warm as 85 degrees Fahrenheit and as cold as 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Below 74 degrees Fahrenheit is when you'll begin to notice the effects of temperature drop, affecting your better rapidly. And above 86 degrees Fahrenheit, it will begin slowly roasting. Is temperature shock fatal? If temperature exceeds or falls below 85 degrees or 76 degrees Fahrenheit, then it will become fatal over time. The more likely scenario when temperature shock will be fatal is drawing a rapid change in temperature. For example, if you just place your better into an environment where the temperature changes from 78 to 85 straight away, then his body won't have time to adjust. So the best way you can stop temperature shock being fatal is by making sure that you never let the temperature change too rapidly. In conclusion, temperature shock is going to be extremely dangerous for your better. That's why it's so important to know the better temperature shock symptoms as well as checking the water regularly. If you like this video, make sure you check out the rest of my channel. Otherwise, have a great day.